Today, at our expert talks, we all would like to know from the expert here, is it the right time to travel? If so, then what we all must to do, and if not, then when it will be the right time to travel. As everyone knows, either we'd like to travel for leisure or for the business, but at the end, there is a time of, of the issues that we need to handle it. And therefore, I would like to ask Mr. Adil al Gaif, as being as one of the senior position at Emirates Airlines, how the airlines encourage the families to feel safe while they travel? You see, before I tell you uh, uh, how to encourage the family to be safe or to travel or the individual as well, just let me take you back uh, from the moment we start hearing about this virus or the pandemic. Uh, it was uh, it was in, in the middle of uh, the month of February when we start seeing a decline of our future booking. Uh, the, the news of the virus was around that time and, and we thought in it's just it's the, it's China and, and we maybe reduce our operation to China. But later we knew this is going to start to spread and we are about to close our financial year at that time. So our financial year starts from April to Mar March. So we have only a month and a half left for, to close. We were doing extremely well in terms of profit, uh, even though that uh, pandemic uh, hit us badly in the month of a end of April and um, end of uh, February and the month of March, but we managed uh, uh, we managed to close the financial year in a profit. Um, uh, you see what happened is in the in the end of the, Mar in the end of March, which when we got directed directed from the civil aviation of UAE just to uh, temporarily suspend our operation. That was really hit us very bad, and I know it's a we regret for our client, uh, our customer who cannot able to travel. Uh, so the, everything was shut down. The airport is closed, and we have to ground all our airplanes. Uh, uh, so what happened later? Uh, uh, we continue uh, operating the cargo flight only. Uh, slowly, slowly, we start uh, receiving some demand on tourists who visited Dubai and they want to go back home. We managed to get approval from uh, the, uh, there is a community, the national crisis and uh, the, the crisis authority where uh, we uh, in control at that time of the situation. So we managed to approach them and we managed to get approval for some repatriation flight to take people back. So we managed the, that and, and later what happened uh, slowly, slowly, we uh, and I remember in the month of May, we managed to get uh, approval from to fly from point to point. And there was only six points in the beginning. Uh, and so it was many Euro European points. Uh, so we continue flying those flights uh, and slowly uh, we managed to get approval from the NCMA, it's called NCMA, uh, uh, approval to start uh, accepting transit passenger to the airport. Uh, but before we reach, in, uh, before reach increase our capacity and increase our frequency, what we did in the moment is everything was locked down and our airplane were in ground. Uh, we assigned a small group uh, in, the, in the Emirates. We knew this is going to be bad. It's not going to be normal. Uh, we have to get ourselves ready. This group was assigned to look at every touch point or every step that passenger take from checking in all the way to disembarkation on his destination. So the group, we asked them to do the complete evaluation and come back with recommendation and, and option. So the group has started working the, at those points and, and, and they come up with the good measures and some changes that required and from there, we we were always. Uh, you see, I think Emirates took the uh, took the leadership uh, position when it comes at this time when it comes to the safety and uh, and uh, healthy. So uh, here, where we went and and slowly, slowly, uh, we start uh, resuming our operation. Uh, the, the advantage which we had, and uh, we had a huge demand in cargo and the cargo was almost supporting the cost of the operation fully. So whatever additional passenger we carry, 
it's those this is all additional revenue for the company we want to we didn't want to keep our airplane i mean despite the so, so later what we did also we use a passenger flight as a cargo uh, and and then slowly uh, we tried to get open some air. When the moment we saw some airports start to open, we d- decided to operate. Uh, we put the frequency based on uh, the demand which we have seen. Uh, the the team which the group which was asked to do this kind of uh, evaluation, they come up with uh, measures, and I think we have taken a good. Uh, uh, healthy uh, safety measures for our client because again the passenger and the crew and the community which we live in is uh, our top priority at that time. Yeah.